Swansea, New Hampshire. The floodwaters there forced hundreds of people to evacuate a campground, and it's just one spot in that state that's dealing with some really serious damage. WBZ's Christina Hager is live for us in Winchester, New Hampshire tonight. And Christina, I know the governor, Chris Sununu, came out to see the destruction firsthand. Right, David. So right now we're on Route 10, and this is typical of what we've seen across the area, a road crew here. This road runs alongside a body of water called Forest Lake behind this home. And during the height of the storm, the water just came gushing down here. See this driveway? It was installed less than a month ago now with deep trenches on either side. I mean, look at this thing. I got over 300 yards of crushed stone in here. And Tracy Paquette devastated as he looks at his backyard property. Usually I, uh, there's, there was a wall across here. Torrential rains broke a beaver dam behind his home. The stream was just rushing. I couldn't even open that door. Water gushing and pushing mud with it right up to his door. Look at the water was that high. Look at into my house. This in Winchester, New Hampshire, where Governor Chris Sununu got a close-up tour. 800 feet of this road gutted, much like those turned to strips of rubble in neighboring Swansea, New Hampshire. The executive director of Pilgrim Pines Campground helped evacuate several hundred people staying here. The storm came in and just hovered over Swansea, particularly right over our camp, and we're heartbroken. What is it going to take to rebuild this? Well, we're in the process of assessing damage all over the camp. The beach destroyed. There was just so much water falling from the sky. A boathouse on the ground. And while crews work to fill roads leading in and out, there's gratitude. Everyone made it out unhurt. But some spirits will take longer to recover. How do I recover from this? Road closed. These signs are just all over this region, not only here, but over the state line into Vermont. And Governor Sununu has said he is now extending New Hampshire's resources to help over in Vermont as well. Live in Winchester, New Hampshire, Christina Hager, WBZ News.